Okay, here we have a shake roof that's just on the borderline of uh, repair. Um, you can see here we have uh, felt, felt paper burn out there and it's burned right through the felt paper into the attic. This is over the garage that I'm looking at. Here, I'll show you a couple more. Oh, there's a big one right there. Big felt blowout right there. It goes right in the attic. Okay, another one. There's one there. One there. There's a lot of holes in this roof. This is real borderline. There's a hole there. It's hard to see because you have the shadow depending on which way the sun is uh which way the sun goes. Uh, it'll shade those keyways and make it hard to see some of these holes. But a lot of these are easy. There's a, there's a hole there. There's a big hole there. Okay, just to give you an idea, this is the south-facing exposure of the roof. Um, now, if you come over to this side of the roof, this is kind of westerly, northwest, and you'll see this, uh, it looks gray now, but when, when it gets wet, it turns all green. Uh, it's, a, it's a green uh, algae or moss film or whatever you'd want to call it. This side of the roof is actually the better side. It looks like the worst side of the roof. And here's the north, even more moss, moss on the butt ends of the shakes. But this, these portions of the roof need the least amount of repairs. I go, when I inspect the roof, immediately to the south exposure. And that determines... Uh, whether the roof is going to be repairable or not most of these shake roofs now are up in the uh, 20 year You know 18 to 20 years and older. There's a lot of them that just can't be repaired anymore I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an estimate for a repair on this roof based on the fact that there's a uh, Not a, as much south exposure on this as on other roofs But we do have a lot of felt exposure. So This is going to need a, a pretty big tune-up so there you go, shake roof, borderline. This is a borderline shake roof. There's another hole up there.